In this lesson, I will show you how to deploy JavaFX NetBeans project in IntelliJ. So I'm using uh, NetBeans 12.5 with JDK 17.0.1. Let me create a simple JavaFX project. JavaFX Hello World. Finish. So if you use NetBeans with uh, anything higher than JDK 11, you won't be able to use JavaFX FXML project. So you need to manually add it. So let's say uh, FXML. Then we can add um, controller. Next. Use Java controller with FXML. I will skip CSS. As you can see, this project does not recognize uh, Java FX. So I'm using JDK 17. Here, deployment, we need to convert Java project to be Java FX deployment model. Create new Java FX application class. Package, let me change. Match with uh, Java FX Hello World. You can select it. Modify project. Project will be modified to follow Java FX deployment model. OK. Now your Java FX project is uh, convert to Java FX project. So we have FXML. You can uh, open with the same builder. So as you can see, I'm going to have one button, then one simple uh, label. So when I click OK button, it's going to print it out Hello World on this label. So let me change to OK. FX ID, I will say BTN OK. On action handle BTN OK. For that label, I LBL message. Then I will change to um, message. Save it. Here you should be able to make controller, but it, it won't work this time because this JavaFX project does not recognize JavaFX library yet. So you go to library, class pass, and jar. In my case, it's on the program files, Java, JavaFX. SDK 17.0.1 on the library. I'm going to add uh, normally four of them base controls FXML graphics. Wait for a few seconds. Now you recognize it. Let's make controller. As you can see, we have uh, error message disappear. Okay, we have a label and the button. So handler method, we can do simple implementation here. LBL message, set text, hello world. Now you can try to clean and build. Again, it won't work. That's the kind of uh, problem we have with the uh, end build. So to fix these problems, you have to stop building char file with the NetBeans. Go to properties, 
packaging here, you can turn it off. Build jar after compiling. OK. That one we can do that with the IntelliJ later one. Clean and build. It worked. OK, try to run it. Again, your configuration file cannot locate Java FX library. So we may need to use additional options called VM options. You can go to run VM options. We can use a module pass to JavaFX SDK library. Then we can use add modules. That's the library I have. Add models. For this simple implementation, I need at least JavaFX controls and then JavaFX FXML. That's the minimum I need. OK. Again, uh, if you run it, this project won't happen. So you know, to avoid the problems, uh, you actually need to learn uh, Java FX Hello World FX.java. So if you look at it here, we have uh, start and then main method underneath. That's the one we are looking for. So let's make a minor change. We don't need these buttons. We already designed button and label with uh, uh, FX in builder in the fxml.fxml document. So let's try to locate fxml documents. fxml loader, load. Class get results, then you can uh, point to your FXML documents. Happen to be capital FXML dot extension FXML. Okay, import and uh, okay, are your exceptions so. IO exception, then we can remove and loot with our size, okay, default size, remove, set title, set in show, that's okay. Let's try to compile, okay, run this file, not the project, okay, okay, message, and then okay, it worked. So that's how you can create JavaFX project with uh, NetBeans 12.5. OK, next step is important where no, NetBeans does not allow us to deploy an uh, executable Java file. So let's use the IntelliJ. So let's open JavaFX Hello World project in um, IntelliJ. As you can see, this is a project created with uh, NetBeans 12.5 and build script bound. OK, let's say trust project. Just uh, somehow ant deployment is not quite working with the NetBeans. So you may um, use IntelliJ for deployment. Simple application with uh, one button, one label. OK, I'm using only three uh, source code. This is simply saying we cannot locate um, JavaFX library. Let me add uh, JDK 17.0.1 to this project. Then we can go to library, 
to add JavaFX SDK libraries to this project, Java. In my case, it's under Java. Program file is Java. JavaFX SDK 17.0.1 and library. Okay, this is what I have. Apply. Okay. Now uh, JavaFX is localized. Let's build. Okay, project is built. Try to run this project. We need to add VM options. Okay, this is what I have. Okay, it looks a bit strange, but leave it. It should work. VM options. Model pass to your JDK SDK um, Java X SDK library. Copy, paste it, then add modules. In my case, I'm going to use Java FX controls, then Java FX FXML. Let's run it. Okay, simple. One label, one OK button. So now we know how to uh, run JavaFX projects built with uh, NetBeans 12.5. Let's create a new class called App. This will be used as a main application to, to your executable Java file. Let's say uh, JavaFX Hello World main arguments. Project structure artifacts. Jar from modules with dependencies. Make sure you select app to Java. OK. Now we are going to add uh, DLL files. They should be on the binary. Select them all. Press Hold Shift key and then select the last one. All of them. OK. Apply. OK. Now we can build artifacts. Build. Successful, okay. Out artifacts, okay. Let's open this folder. Open in Windows Explorer, okay. On the same directory. This time you can simply double click, you will launch your application, okay. Hello world. Okay, this is how you can uh, deploy NetBeans project in uh, IntelliJ.